the preciousness of the human body, but three of eight, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on June 21st, 2024. Good girl! Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Where were we? Okay, okay. Uh, whatever I remember, I tell you, okay? It might not be in order. Now, all of you know that in sitting in meditation, you see most of masters do it, or he, she told his or her disciples to do the complete cross leg, yeah? Meaning both of your legs are entwined together with the whole uh, feet, soles upward to the sky. Both the soles are on top of both legs and upward. That is good. That is the position of the body to give you the power to control yourself. Yes, control yourself in many different aspects, but not all the aspects. There are many other aspects you can't control, like your emotions, anger and desire for worldly, mundane stuff. Not worthy to aspire for, just using your physical body and physical brain to work, to earn your living, yes. But if you have another kind of posture with the hand gesture, together with this uh, complete cross leg, then you achieve another kind of power. I can just tell you about what you have already seen in the world. I just explained the secret to you. The other ones, numerous others, I cannot tell you because it might harm you if you try when you are not pure enough. God doesn't allow it and all the other gods and heavens will guard it well and forbid any impure person to use them. It's very good to know all these things, but I have not used all of them up to now yet. I probably have to use uh, one or a couple of them maybe to help myself in this situation, but I'm still not sure if the world karma will facilitate otherwise. So there's uh, no need to worry, you know, we are born and we die one day or another, okay? It's just that if uh, somebody is in the physical body and if uh, God or the Buddhas have appointed that person to be an instructor of humankind and other beings on the planet, even the animal people, the trees and plants and the stones are listening to that person. And if that person is still in the physical body, then he she can be more connected with the physical world's beings and can teach them more efficiently, more directly. That's all, okay? Otherwise, uh, life and death are something in the physical world that we cannot avoid. Uh, it is a pity, you know, I feel very pitiful that, ooh, that I cannot teach anyone about this. One time I tried, I planned to transfer one of these uh, bodily information gestures to one person who was very near at that time. And I thought that person was able 
to receive it, just to try one at least, you know, but no. Oh, something happened and hell got loose. So that person cannot be the chosen one. Even just for one secret gesture of the body, for one particular piece of information. I also feel very bad, you know, uh, frustrated that many things I know I can't tell others in order to pass down, you know, or to help people in some way. I did help whatever I could in my own humble power, you know, that's due to the grace of God and all the saints and sages. When I say saints and sages, you should know it means Buddhas as well, yeah? We have different terminology. But Buddhas means saints and sages, yes? Also, in the English uh, language. Oh, it's so difficult. Many people keep arguing over the terminology. So it's either God <laughs> or nothing else. Either Buddha or no one else. Even if the Buddha already has passed away into his nirvana 2,000 many hundred years ago. Either Jesus or everyone else, you know, is not good. Anyone else is a heretic. Ah, I can just uh, look at all the chaos, arguments and judgments of everyone and shake my head. I just try my best what to do. You know, many are ignorant and think they know everything, but they don't even know the knowledge of one fingernails information. All right. I just feel sorry for them also because they don't know what they are saying. They don't know what they're doing. And they offend heaven and earth and all the Buddhas by slandering the real pure practitioners. Not to talk about the saints or the Buddhas who have been appointed by heaven to come down into this turbulent world to rescue beings from this suffering domain up to the higher and blissful heavens to live there for a long time or forever or become Buddha themselves depending on where they are placed according to their merit very pity for these people. They don't know what awaits them, no matter what. I still try to help them and rescue them, but it's also up to God's grace and the Buddha's, Master's, Bodhisattva's mercy, okay? Not I alone, I'm just an instrument. I do my best, of course, sacrifice, whatever I can, live in whatever condition I have to risk, whatever danger that I'm forced to be in, yes, by the karma of everything I do, that interferes with the world's karma. If nobody ever tells you, teaches you anything right, or if you're not sure if that person say something right to you or worships the right idols, you know, then just pray inside with all your sincerity to all the masters, meaning bodhisattvas, buddhas, to God, that you will be protected. You will be led into remembering your origin through any master, real master, who can liberate your soul from the shackles of this world. Well, at least now you know why the Buddha says that the human body is that precious, that rare to attain. Even though I cannot demonstrate to you everything that I know about these secrets. It is often said that uh, if we are in heavens, like maybe lower heavens, then it's difficult to practice. I think because 
in heaven we don't have the faculty of this physical blessing within our physical bodies. Yes, the physical body can hold more of these uh, devices, invisible devices. I mean, the blessing is hidden within this physical flesh of human body in the heavens, from the astral heaven upward to the third heaven of Brahma. We don't have any of this uh, physical inherited power that we have within the physical body. Perhaps that's why also in the Bible, God said that God made men, humans, always men, humans in God's own image. We can't imagine what God's image is like. But God has all this power, you see, all the creative force within God's being. And when God made humans in the same image, that means we also inherited all of God's power to a certain degree, maybe less, but still very powerful, you know, tremendous power. Perhaps for that reason, even the angels were jealous of us humans. Thus, they are trying very hard to convince God that we are nothing that much. And they try so hard all the time to test humans, to put humans through trials and tribulations. All kinds of challenges, judging humans' capability, intelligence, wisdom, and all kinds of abilities. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master.